What I've been thinking about a little bit today is how few people in my generation and in the generation that's behind me how little we pay attention to our elders and you might wonder what prompted me to have this conversation now well, the thing that's prompted me to have this conversation is I was sitting at a coffee house, in, and uh, while I'm sitting there, going over lines, this older gentleman, who henceforth I will refer to as Old Man Dan. Old Man Dan was sitting next to me, and he was talking on his cell phone to someone. I wasn't paying him very much attention. I was just trying to get my work done. And once he got off the phone, he began to talk to me. He asked me my name, asked me what I was doing in town, and he told him I was working for the Shakespeare Festival. And he just began to talk to me. He began to talk to me about his life in this town and how he built a career as a young man, raised a family, had gotten married, and uh, had moved out here, he said, to end his days. One of the things that he was talking about was how he enjoys being around young people. There's a university here in town, and he says that when he gets a chance, he really he likes to spend time with the young people. And as I was sitting listening to him, I, I thought, you know, okay, this guy seems pretty nice. He seems like a nice old guy. And I, although I really should be working on my lines, I'm going to listen to what he has to say. And we talked for about 20 minutes. And I told him that I was an actor and that I was in town working with the festival. But I was in graduate school and all of that stuff. And he wished me the best of luck. He, he talked about his own experience in the entertainment industry. Well, long story short, you know, he was talking to me and he said the thing that I really needed to hear. Um, what he said to me was, do what you love and love what you do. And you'll never work a day in your life. Do what you love. And love what you do. And you'll never work a day in your life. And I thought. Wow, that's powerful. And it's true. And I thought, you know, my both of my grandparents are, all four of my grandparents are, are deceased. And um, it was just really interesting to be in the presence of this older gentleman who he had said he was he had recently or he's in the process of battling cancer. But he was just so clear. His light, his energy was so clear. Um and he commended me, he said that he could tell that I was a good person. Because as I was talking to him and as he was talking to me that I was making eye con direct eye contact with him. And in me thinking about that, I realized, be it my students that I, that I teach back at the university, or the people that I come into contact with on a daily basis that I don't know, eye contact is going out the window. Integrity is going out the window. 
real passion is going out of the window. And it reminds me of this other incident that I had. That I had uh, probably like over a year ago. Maybe like a year and a half ago. Back in Illinois. I was uh, getting ready to go into a restaurant. And there was uh, an old man and his wife in the car next to me as I was getting out in the parking lot. And uh, the gentleman was getting out of his car out of the passenger side and I was getting out of the driver's side of my car. And and he said, oh, that car, I really like that car. I, I've been thinking about getting one of those cars and I, I'm wondering how you like it and how it drives and all of those things. And I, th I said, well, I, I enjoy it. I mean, I've had no, no problems with it. Um, it's done right by me. Uh, and I just said, well, if you want, you can, you know, sit in the driver's seat and see if you, you know, if you like it. You can take a look at it. And his eyes lit up. And um, he got in the car and he sat down and he, like, opened the, the, the trunk and looked in the four doors and he was just so touched. He was so touched. And uh, he said to me, my name is, he told me his name, and he told me his address. And he said, He said, this is my name, this is my address, and if you ever need anything, don't hesitate to come over. I thank you for letting me, you know, check out your car. He was probably like in his, in his late 70s or so. Now I know that there's someone out there who's asking themselves, so what? I don't know. There's just, there's just something about this, like this idea, this, this energy, this, this real respect for other people, this willingness to connect to other people, especially the older people who have walked along the road. They're a little bit further along the road. Things that we can learn from those people. If we allow ourselves to make that contact. I think it's, it's, it can be powerful. So, what's the point of this video? Every video has a point, right? The point of this video is I want each and every one of you to do an inventory of your life. See where there's a person that you can reach out to. Talk to a person sitting somewhere, a cafe or a restaurant or wherever you might find yourself and be prepared to possibly have a, a, a life changing interaction with someone I think we really have to get back to the basics and the communication and community one human being to another We can share our stories, our joys, our pains, our experiences, and together as members of the same community, we can thrive.
Love and peace to you all.